Hello everyone and welcome to the first edition of Johnny Appleseed How To, a series of videos on different carpentry projects we've done around the farm and how you can do them at home. Today's video is about building a 43 by 43 inch grow box into which we're going to fit a 150 gallon Johnny Appleseed grow bag. We originally conceived of this project so that we could plant our citrus trees, which were originally growing in our urban garden. We need to remove them so that we can use that space for something else. And this was a good, aesthetically pleasing way to relocate them. Before we begin, let's take a look at the tools and materials we'll need to complete this project. As far as materials go, you'll need four 12-foot 2x4s, one 8-foot 4x4, three 8-foot 1x10s, and three 8-foot 1x6s. As far as tools go, you'll need a hammer, a drill, some 3-inch screws, some 2-inch galvanized brad nails, a nail gun, a 12-inch sliding miter saw, and a 10-inch rigid table saw. Once you've gathered your materials, the first step is to cut the 4x4 into four 2-feet sections. Once you've done that, we're going to trim the 2x4s to a width of 2 and 5 eighths inches. Then we're going to cut the trimmed 2x4s into 8 43-inch long sections and 8 21-inch long sections. Once we've prepared these materials, we're going to use the 3 inch screws to attach the 21 inch sections to the 43 inch sections. This should produce four flush rectangles. Once you have your four rectangles, we're going to attach one of the 4x4 sections to each end of two of the four rectangles. This needs to be flush with one side, it doesn't matter which. The point of this is to form two of the side walls and leave a little bit of a lip for us to attach the decorative outer wall panels later in the process. Once that's done, we're going to attach the remaining two rectangles to the 4x4 sections, again, leaving a lip on the outside for the decorative wall panels to fit into. Now we're using reclaimed lumber for our project, so in order to get ready for the next phase, we need to square off some of the wood that we're going to use for these decorative panels. You may not need to repeat this process if you're using wood fresh from a lumber yard, but because, again, we're using reclaimed lumber, we need to square ours off. Once that's done, we're going to cut them into 24 inch sections. Once the wood is cut to fit, we're going to attach them to the frame we've already built, alternating between the two widths. For the odd remaining corner space, we'll simply measure and cut a piece of paneling to custom fit. Then we're going to repeat this process for each of the four sides until the box is fully enclosed. The final step of the project is to create the decorative lip that goes over the top of the box. To do this, we're going to trim two 1x6s to 5 inches wide, and then we're going to trim the ends of each to a 45 degree angle so that the short ends are exactly 43 inches apart. Once that's done, we'll attach these to the top of the box so that all four sides create a decorative top. We hope you enjoyed this video on creating your own grow box and find it useful in your own carpentry endeavors. If you have any questions or if there's anything that we didn't cover, please don't hesitate to drop a comment and let us know. Otherwise, please subscribe to the Johnny Appleseed TV YouTube page by clicking the button below and stay in touch with us for any future updates on regenerative farming, agriculture, organic gardening, and self-reliant living. Thanks again.